What is going on? I should have found the football safety. And today we're going to talk about upsets in college football in week five. So we're going to start with Washington and UCLA. This was a shocker because UCLA upset Washington. And yes, as you see here, Washington, uh, UCLA was ranked. However, I don't think they were prior to this game. Well, let me check something real quick. I don't. I think they were unranked, and then prior to this game, and they and this is stats going to ESPN. So let's look in week five. And before, oh, it just looks okay. Yeah. Yeah, so you see it was on ranked and they upset Washington 40 to 32. It was a very close game, but when I said this as well, I was very shocked what happened. Is what well. okay? So we have Washington had 345 passes with four touchdowns and two picks. However, the running game struggled while only gaining 71 total rushing yards. However, to compare to UCLA, the passing Thomas Robinson, 315 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions, or their running game was a lot better. Chandler Nott had 124 yards for a touchdown. Thomas Robinson, the quarterback, got a rushing touchdown, um, averaged 5.3 yards, 53 yards, and 10 carries. So, yeah, so. I think this game came down to the running game. If Washington had a better uh, running game in this game, I didn't watch it though, but to some knowledge, and the running game did struggle, it looks like. But if they got like more of a you see, they didn't run the ball as much as they wanted to, but you no. Know, yeah, it's totally fine. And let's get to the next game. Kentucky and Ole Miss. So coming into this game, Kentucky was ranked seventh and Ole Miss was ranked 14th. So I was looking for a very close game and we got it. And this game was 22-19 winner to Ole Miss. So Kentucky was ranked seventh. Ole Miss was ranked 14th. Now Ole Miss is ranked 9th. Kentucky is now ranked 13th. And this game came down. Probably just came down regardless of defense. Who's ever going to get the ball last? Who I was going to score? But if you see, no one's going to the fourth quarter. So really, it was a good game overall. And Levis got two touches at 2020 passing yards. The running game looks looks good. They run the ball off to different uh, running backs. Their saving game for Baron Brown got two receptions at 81 yards, total of 40 and a half average. That was really good. But if you now you look at all missed, I think the quarterback is. Dark, dark, dark. He struggled in the air with 213 passing yards, an interception. But Koshan Junkins, 15 carries, 106 yards, 7.1 average for a tough rushing touchdown. Dog with eight carries with 40 yards for five yards average. But the total yards for Ole Miss was 146 on the ground, which is really good. Compared to Kentucky's, I'm pretty sure it's really even to Kentucky's, but defense, I believe defense come down to this game. And I've had to rank this one. This is probably rank second or third for upsets of the week. But now you look at this game, Oklahoma and TCU. Oklahoma was ranked 18th 
TCU is not ranked at all. And Oklahoma got destroyed by TCU. 55 to 24. After I believe Coach Wright left, I think Coach Coach Wright's not the coach anymore. I don't think they're he's not there anymore. So you see, is Oklahoma is going downhill? Or is he? Yeah, I think he, I think he's coming at USC, and with the and their record is five and zero now. But however, like Oklahoma, I think Oklahoma is going downhill. I don't think they're going to be good anytime soon. That's my opinion. I didn't watch this game, but however, by look at this, TCU just did everything. They passed the ball. They won the football officially. They play probably the one of the best defense. Games in years. Look at Dugan, 32 yards, three touchdowns, 23 out of 33. And the running game, the total running game. So we have two players that rush 100 plus yards, two touches each. They have, have five total rushing touches, eight total on offense. And they have one guy that had three receptions, 170 yards. 35.7 on average, and then to receive a touchdown. And the defense was so like outstanding. But anyways, yeah. They got two and a half. Three and a half, four, four sacks. I uh, was from there. Four, five, six of TCU. The storm right in. Oakham thought they're gonna walk into TCU soon and escape from TCU, but nope. TCU had other plan dates. Uh, won Oklahoma all the gates with a 55 to 24 victory. Now, that is, I, I wouldn't rank this one last, but now here are the Minnesota going to go for a score. A lot of people thought that they are going to win, and they should have, but they lost 20 to 10 to Purdue. Overs was ranked 21st. Came to this game with a 4 0 record. Ball makers was 2 and 2. Tanner Morgan had 257 uh, uh, passing yards into the air with three interceptions. That was a difference maker right there. Um, 47 rushing yards with a touch up for the Gophers. Now, deficit maker right there. They had Mo Abraham did not play in that game. Paul O'Connor had 199 yards in the air. Two interceptions, but the running game, 160, two rushing touches in the longest, 168 yards. And I rank this the second, the, this is our rank. I rank Washington, UCLA, fourth. Kentucky, Ole third. Oklahoma, TCU, one. And Minnesota Purdue number two. The reason why I I have the TCU and Oklahoma game the, the number one upset of the week is because that Oklahoma was they should have well people think they should have won, but TCU was a better football team hand this week. So it was Purdue. So was all Mans. And so is UCLA, even though UCLA and Washington was very close, Ole Miss, Kentucky was close, but Oklahoma and Minnesota lost in double digits, with Oklahoma losing by 31 points, Minnesota lose by, lose by 10, Ole Miss by 3, Washington by 8. So yeah, so stay tuned. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. 
hit the notification button and let me know if you want to see more of this. If it does happen, I do my best for each week. Welcome to the top four upsets of the week if there is any or top four best games of the week. So let me know in the comments if you want to see that as well. Thanks so much for watching the very first.